Was Westbrook frustrating or a sympathetic figure last night? I think he was a sympathetic figure, Max. That's what I, and Molly, that's what I get from it. He was a very sympathetic figure. I felt bad for him, and I'm going to tell you why. He leaves the game. They're up 12. I mean, in a minute and a half, now they're up three. That's when the frustration kicked in. Tim Legler was on Mike and Mike this morning. He, our NBA analyst extraordinaire for the family, and he was absolutely positively on the money. I watched this whole game. Westbrook was flowing 13 for 29, shooting over the first three quarters. He goes and takes a breath, and before he, you could have an opportunity to pass gas, these boys was about ready to give up the whole damn lead. I mean, this Oklahoma City team should be completely ashamed of itself. Dudes were scared to shoot. They were missing wide open shots. He was a one man wrecking crew because he had to be. I know he shot four of 18 in the fourth quarter. I know that's historic proportions. We haven't seen that kind of ineptitude in the postseason over the last 20 years. I get all of that, but it it breeds from frustration, Max. This dude is balling. He is flowing. He sets his team up to win. Now you could give up a, a two or three points or whatever the case may be. You could even give it up over a stretch of several minutes. But I'm talking about 90 seconds, man. And these dudes, the lead had practically evaporated because these guys acted like they could not play with Russell Westbrook on the floor. It was embarrassing. They should be ashamed of themselves. I couldn't believe how awful Oklahoma City was offensively. And I'm not pointing the finger at all at Russell Westbrook in this particular situation. As erratic as he may have been, this is what happens when the combination of frustration and being overwhelmed gets the better of you because you wake up in a moment and you rationalize, I have no help. I'm all alone on this island. And that is exactly what he was going through last night, Max.